Okay, so let's take a look at how to do question number four. So this one is asking that we have two integers with a difference of four. So the way we set this question up is we let um, first integer okay, be x, and then the second integer um, can be has to be a difference of four. So we could just say that is x plus four. And then to set up the equation, we would say the sum of their squares is 250. So the way that would work is we're going to square the first term and then add the second term to it and we square that. That is the sum of squares is equal to 250. Okay, and then out of that, we can simply just do an expansion um, where we're gonna get x squared plus eight x plus 16 is equal to 250. And then we can collect terms together. So that will give us 2x squared uh, plus 8x minus 234 um, is equal to 0. So then there's several ways you can solve that. Again, you can use quadratic formula. You can use graphing. And then you can figure out which roots um, you will have. Um, you will probably, when you solve this, with typically with these problems, you will get one number, which is a positive root. Okay, and then you will probably have a negative root um, in this uh, in this system of equations. In this equation, um, then you'll you'll need to figure out which of the values um, that you can use and then see if they both will work or if there's only one that makes sense because the only, the only thing is the difference has to be four. Now there is another way that we could have looked at this um, and you will end up getting the same answer. The second integer, a difference doesn't just have to be plus four, it could be x minus four. So in this case, the equation would still be something similar, it'd be x squared plus x minus four squared is equal to 250. Um, expanding this, you will get x squared plus x squared um, minus 8x plus 16 is equal to 250. And when you collect terms, you will get 2x squared minus 8x minus uh, 234. So it actually looks like the equation is very similar. Um, but again, work out the roots and you'll find that one of the roots here should be positive root and then a negative root. Um, and then you, again, you can plug in and see which ones um, will make sense. What you should find out is that both of these equations will give you um, a very similar answer in terms of um, what you're asked to find and that there actually isn't any difference in terms of the two integers that you'll get. Um, they'll both be four, unit, four units apart. Okay, so that's a that's a good way to start this question. Um, I, I'm gonna leave I, I'm gonna leave the math so that you can finish the rest of them off, um, but you should be able to uh, to get going at this point.